crazy week for high school basketball. So let's take a beat and talk nothing about college sports for today. Starting off our college road trip, we'll go up to Macomb. That's where the Leathernecks were enjoying their senior day. It was a close first half in Western Hall. Quinlan Bennett's two right here brings Western down 23 to 20. But have no fear because the Leathernecks were just getting warmed up. With less than four minutes left in the half, JJ Calicon sinks the three to give WIU the one point lead. That's a fun last name to say, Calicon. The Leathernecks started to build on top top of that though with seconds left in the first James Denton Jr. gets the rock and drains the tray ball to make it a 40 to 34 game. Let's fa fast forward now to the second half. Watch Quinlan Bennett work around his defender and finish with a bank shot. He put up 13 points today. More action from Bennett. He weaves around defenders looks to pass and then says eh, actually I'll take this shot myself. WIU got it done with a 76 to 56 win today. Next up for Western is the OVC tournament and they'll play this up and coming Thursday. Day. The women also were ready to finish their regular season out with a bang, and they played great today. That was Addie Brownfield sinking the three to put Western up. And how about some more threes? Here's Anna Dietz from behind the arc, getting the rock and draining a money shot of her own. That was three of 16 points she put up. Talk about some grit, though. Watch Mallory McDermott fighting her way to the bucket for the pair and the foul. You know we're going to talk about her. Reagan McCown, here she gets the rock for the three. Cha ching The Leathernecks took off in the second half. Jasmine Nichols wide open for the two. This game was all WIU. They go on to win this one 84 to 56. Next on, the, next on the docket for them is the OVC tournament, and they'll play against Tennessee Tech on Wednesday. Over at John Wood, they celebrated their sophomores for their last regular season game. And speaking of sophomores, watch Jada Dupree bulldozing her way down the lane and fighting for the bucket. She led the team with 19. She wasn't the only sophomore putting up points. Here's Alexis Pullman with another deuce for the home team. She put up 17 points today. John Wood trailed for most of the game, but made an epic third quarter comeback. Madison Doran ties the game up for the Blazers with a three. And in the fourth, John Wood sealed the deal, defeating Illinois Central 61 to 52. They'll enter the postseason at home this Wednesday against ICC again. Tip off is at 530. The men were up next, taking on ICC, and they were hoping to have the same outcome the women's team did. And, the, and to start things off here, sophomore in recent queue, you commit Logan Robbins with a little backward shot. Keeping the good times rolling, Jacob Wallingford will hit a mid-range two. He scored 15 points for the Blazers today. Showing more love to the sophomores, here's Joshua Talton moving and pushes his way down low to snag the pair. Now watch this next play from Braylon Diggs. Coming off a breakaway, he takes it down low to the rack and slams it down. We love seeing those dunks. The Trailblazers kept that energy up, which helped them defeat Illinois Central 74-59. They'll also enter the postseason Wednesday. Their game starts at 7.30. Over at Pepsi Arena, the QU men wrapped up their regular season, and there was a, still an opportunity for a very special moment this afternoon. Introduced as one of the Hawks' starters was Solomon Gustafson, who's been out all year with a back injury. This was all planned. Solomon immediately fouled, so he was officially in a game his senior year. That was a very nice moment for the Hawks today. Another other senior Zion Richardson helped QU get on the board with this three-pointer, but Illinois Springfield was here to have their own celebration. That's Khalil Ross attacking the basket for the lead. Quincy's Nate Shockey was also playing his final game today. That jumper helped Quincy stay close, but Illinois Springfield came to play and Quincy could never catch up. QU falls 97 to 89, and they finished their season with 11 and 17 record. In the women's game, QU hoping to close out the season strong. Carson Stratton with the bucket to tie the game up early. Next possession, it's Michaela Huffine on the drive with the left-hand shot. Just two minutes later, and Janice Dawson lines it up from the corner and nails it. Quincy scored 10 straight to open the half and led by eight. QU played aggressive offensively. Here's Samaya Williams. She had a great game today. She put up 30 points for the Hawks. Big play right here. Over two minutes left in the game time. Springfield's Kayla Rice tries to beat the shot clock. That basket was good after review, and Quincy never overcame that. They fall in this one 79 to 74. In Courtney Boyd's first year, Quincy finishes at 9 and 13 in the league and 10 and 18 overall.